Before starting, turn off and unplug your Replicator 2 or 2X. Use the 5mm hex wrench that came with your Replicator to remove the front panel of your bot, and if you have a 2X, remove the enclosure lid. Now move the Z-Stage all the way to the top of the printer so that it does not obstruct access to the back of the interface. The interface case is secured with two bolts on the floor of the printer, directly behind the interface. Remove them with your 2.5mm hex wrench and set the bolts aside. Now disconnect the interface ribbon cable. Turn the printer on its left side and, using the 2.5mm hex wrench, remove the bolts securing the electronics bay cover and set the cover and bolts aside. Unplug the XYZ motor cable and if you have a Replicator 2X, the two pairs of wires that comprise the heated build plate cable. Use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen the screws until you can remove the leads. For terminals with buttons, press the buttons on the terminals and pull the leads out. Now, detach the thermocouple. There will be two pairs of thermocouple wires if you have a Replicator 2X. For terminals with buttons, press the button on the terminals and pull the leads out. If the terminals are secured by screws, use a small flathead screwdriver to loosen the screws until you can remove the leads. Next, remove the extruder cable. Remember, the 2X has two. Unplug the LED ribbon cable and the LCD interface ribbon cable. Then, unplug the end stop cable. Now, gently pull the board off of each of the metal supports. Now, we're going to install the new Mighty Board. First, tilt the power switch and the power and USB ports into their holes in the back panel. Then, carefully press each corner until the support snaps into place. If you have a Replicator 2X, make sure the heated build plate cable is routed behind the new Mighty Board. Reconnect the cable with the black wire going to the terminal on the right and the red wire going to the terminal on the left. Reconnect the thermocouple. Remember, if you have a Replicator 2X, there will be two thermocouples. Now reconnect the extruder cable. Again, if you have a Replicator 2X, there will be two extruder cables. Reconnect the LCD interface cable ribbon and the LED ribbon cable. Reconnect the end stop cable. Now reattach the electronics bay cover. Turn the printer back over. Connect the LED interface ribbon cable to your new interface case assembly and secure the interface case assembly to the printer with two bolts. Plug in the power supply, turn on the printer, and test that the new interface case assembly worked. Visit MakerBot.com support to see an overview of your support options.